I remember when I lost my very first friend to HIV, I was just devastated. And I thought, you know, instead of feeling helpless, how can I do something that makes a positive impact where I can know that they're being celebrated and remembered? I walk because I, I want them to never felt like what they were doing with their life didn't matter. And so then I just started asking everyone that I knew. I'd send out emails, text messages. I'd go up and walk up to them in person and say, I'm, I'm doing this and it's something that's important to me. I just want people to be inspired. And I want folks to realize that like, there is no barrier for any involvement. Anyone can be involved for any reason and any amount of time. And, and that it's important to give back to your community because there may come a time or a day where you find yourself on that end and you'll understand and appreciate it so much more if you were able to also give back as well. When my friend Andrew Shade started working for Cascade AIDS Project, he called me and said, I really want you to be involved and I think that you would be a great fit for us to have you on board. So I would come volunteer my days there as an intern, which I did for five years. And that's how I got involved with AIDS Walk too. I've been working at our house for five and a half years. I am the manager of Esther's Pantry and Todd's Corner. And I also am employed at Darcel 15 Showplace as one of the showgirls. Todd's Corner is a free clothing store where folks who are living with HIV can come and shop and get whatever they need, uh, clothing and household wise. Everything you could imagine that you need for your house is available at, at our place. And Esther's Pantry is a free food bank for people who are living with HIV. And this last year, we decided to open it up to the entire community because of COVID, so many people kept calling and saying, we need help. And uh, I just felt that we had the responsibility to do so. And I knew that we could do it. And our business quadrupled overnight. And it was a lot to manage in the beginning, but we kind of figured it out and we made it work. And the best part was no one ever lost the amount of service that they were getting from us. As a matter of fact, folks got more. Because of the involvement that I started pouring myself headfirst into working with the Oregon Food Bank day in and day out, and I became um, active on their advisory council, we sort of realized where all of the intersectional issues were. And uh, one day I called our representative for Clackamas County and I said, folks who are transgender and LGBT are experiencing discrimination inside food system pantries. That was sort of when I realized like, we have a responsibility to make sure that we're taking care of everyone in a whole and complete way and providing a safe place for people to come and access the food services and also to make sure that they have a safe place for accessing the food as well. And so we created the LGBT Affirming Pantries list and we became the first certified LGBT affirming pantry in the whole entire state. But the best part was, is it really made me realize that I wanted to start working in um, equity and diversity and inclusion with a focus on HIV and uh, food insecurity. Because you can provide someone with the food, but if they don't feel safe accessing the food, then they're not gonna go get the food. And so they all sort of intertwine together. It just became a passion for me to make sure that we were taking care of everyone in a whole and complete way. You know, this last year was so tough on so many people. And when I sat back and looked at what we were able to accomplish at Esther's Pantry and Todd's Corner, I was, I, I just started crying immediately. And I was like, we did that. Like we did that. And like, I never sat and focused on any amount of it because I was just in the thick of it. And then when I saw the Our House Gala and the numbers come across the screen, I went, wow, we made that happen and we made that work. And we faced the toughest year we'd ever faced and we did it in a better way than we'd ever done any other year before. I mean, for the future of HIV, obviously the point where we want to get is zero new infections, but also for folks to live healthy lives if they do get infected. And that's kind of the interesting part about the job that I do 
uh, at Esther's Pantry, you know, we focus on making sure that we are giving them really healthy, high quality foods and um, so that folks can live a really healthy life. And at the end of the day, I want to work in a place where I don't have a job anymore. You know, I want to get to the place where I don't have a job anymore, where my services that I provide aren't needed anymore. And then I'll move on to the next thing.